I have a scrapbook piece of paper. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It has musical notes on the front side. I'm going to take some wood letters that spell the word Noel, and I'm going to trace them on the back side of the scrapbook paper so I have my letters flipped so they are the correct way when we flip the paper over. I'm then going to cut each letter out of the scrapbook paper. Again, this came right from Hobby Lobby. You can really pick any design of your choice. I have this piece of wood, it's 24 inches, and it has a weathered look to it, but I'm going to take my handheld sander and I'm going to sand the board so that it's not rough. I'm gonna remove this sanding dust. I'm gonna spray some water on it and using the Wise Owl Republic Red, I'm going to give a coat to the board. Now I do not want full coverage I am using water to water the paint down. I almost want it to look like a stain. You want that to fully dry before you go and adhere your paper letters. I am going to just use some hot glue, but you can certainly use some E6000 or decoupage them on. I started at the bottom and I moved my way up through each letter, applying the hot glue to the back side and then I laid it on my board. After I adhered my letters, I decided to take my handheld sander again and just go throughout the board and just wear it down more in some areas. I do like that blonde wood to peek through to give it a nice distressed look. I found these little holly pieces from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna glue one onto each letter, just randomly placing them in different sections. There is a little wire on the end of them that I'm cutting off with my bolt cutters and then I'm just hot gluing them onto the letter. I have this stencil that says let it snow with the three snowflakes at the bottom. It came from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to just apply this stencil to the top and bottom of my board. I'm using some Wise Owl Snow Owl and a foam dabber. And you just want a very small amount of paint when you're doing this. That way it will not bleed underneath. And I think this just gave it a nice finished look. And I repeated the same thing on the bottom as well. And there you go. Now we have this very easy Noel sign. I really like how this came out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you could check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.